Hey, what's going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. And guys, we're going to be talking about today are the Ultimate Freeze new players that are going to be added to the game. I believe they're coming out this morning, so I'm very, very excited, guys. Um, yes, we have a ton of information that's getting leaked right now from various different sources. A lot of it's coming from uh, Madden Mobile right now, where a lot of these items are actually already available. But uh, some of the stuff is also just coming from people who are quote-unquote in the know. And I'm trusting them that they're giving me great information. Uh, I don't have any reason to believe that they would lie. So with that being said, guys, let's hop right into it. Let's get things started here. Uh, like I said, I've got some images of some of the new stuff right here for you guys. Uh, and we're starting off with some good stuff, guys. These are the new ghost items that are in the game. Only a few of them here. Uh, these are four of, I don't even know how many that there are actually going to be, uh, but I know that these ones are absolutely confirmed. The Darrell Rivas image there got kind of chopped off. Uh, the person who uploaded that image didn't take a very good quality picture of it, so I apologize. Um, but uh, yeah, so Marcus Mariota there on the far right, that is a quarterback card, of course. Um, these aren't out of, out of position items other than the Julius Peppers, which, uh, you know, his current Madden Ultimate Team items are at linebacker because that's the position that he plays for the Packers. Originally in 2008 when he was playing for the Panthers, he did play defensive end and that is what he's going to be playing here in this game as well. It looks like uh, with the 2008 throwback uh, ghost cards. So that's pretty awesome. These are ghosts of Madden past there with Julius Peppers uh, and then also the Darrell Revis is I believe a ghost of I believe that's a ghost of Madden's past as well. But I'm not 100% certain on that. That could be a ghost of Madden present as well. It's so hard to really tell with some of these because we, we don't really have 100% guarantee that, you know, with, with these images here, that they're the present, the future. I'm not sure which. I'm guessing that the one of Revis there is actually the ghost of Madden present. And then, as you see on the outside there, we've got Beckham Jr. as well as Marcus Mariota. Those look like possibly ghosts of Madden's future. They're a little bit different art. And then, obviously, the ghost of Madden past there with Julius Peppers, uh, kind of a dark image so yeah these ones are really really cool in my opinion uh, a lot of people love the ghost items and and in previous years when they've had these in the game some of these ghost items have been absolutely at the time the most expensive cards in the game i'm not sure that they're going to exceed things like the night train lane right now or barry sanders or, or various different items like that but these items could absolutely be some of the more expensive cards at their position when they come out i'm really excited to use some of these if i can get my hands on them other ones that have been confirmed that i don't have images of right now we do have a brian finner in that's confirmed i don't know what the height is on that in previous years uh, i mean at least in uh, madden 15 i believe trying to remember if that was Madden 25 or Madden 15, but, um, no, oh yeah, I think it was, um, no, oh gosh, I don't remember, but either way, uh, Brian Finner in, in previous years was, uh, six foot seven. I believe that they've pulled him down now to six foot five in the current Madden, but at the same time, though, we could very well see Brian Finner and be a giant again, and, uh, that would make him a pretty overpowered card at wide receiver, especially with the aggressive catching that's currently in the game. Uh, another one that's been confirmed, Michael Strahan. I know a lot of Giants fans have been looking forward to playing with him again in Madden. That is confirmed. There is a ghost of Madden's past, Michael Strahan. Another one that is confirmed that people are going to be excited about, I think, Ghost of Madden past, Randall Cunningham. We've seen Cunningham be some of the best Madden quarterback cards in the game before in previous years, and I don't see any reason to think that he won't be again. He kind of makes a great combination of both being able to be an accurate passer as well as a runner. So, uh, of course, you know, Randall Cunningham's probably going to be extremely expensive as well. Uh, but that's kind of the ghost cards that we have confirmed at the moment, guys. If you see any other cards coming out, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Let everybody know the cards that you see. Uh, if they're 100% confirmed, leave them in the comment section below. I would be glad to uh, hear those and uh, give you guys a thumbs up and uh, that give people the information on Twitter or wherever else I can do it because uh, I know a lot of people are really excited about this promo. But let's move on now and uh, let's actually talk about some of the out of position items. These are the things that I am most excited about personally. I love the ghost cards, but there is nothing that I like better in this game than the out of position items. And we're going to start things off here with some quarterbacks, guys. Three different quarterbacks. We've got Antonio Brown on the left, Denard Robinson in the middle, and then Julian Edelman on the right. All three of these guys have thrown passes, but Julian Edelman and Denard Robinson actually played quarterback in college, so they might actually have some really, really great attributes, 
but they probably won't have the top end speed and acceleration of Antonio Brown. So it's going to be kind of an interesting, you know, marriage between what you're looking for. Do you want somebody that's super fast or do you just want somebody that uh, can actually throw the ball and still have some mobility? Because I think all three of these cards could potentially be usable just in different ways. So uh, again, we got Antonio Brown, Denard Robinson, Julian Edelman. Edelman is an elite, by the way. The other two are golds, as you can see there on the screen. Moving on now, and guys, we have a couple of cards that are really, really interesting. Uh, far left of your screen, Don Terry Poe. This is one that I actually asked for in my video the other day, uh, two days ago. I, I hope that they would make this a fullback Don Terry Poe. Looks like they have decided to go ahead and make this. This should be a pretty fun card to use. I think it's the only fullback of the uh, of the out of position card. So it's going to be interesting to see what his attributes are. If he has good strength, I'm assuming he will. Hopefully, he'll fall forward and be able to pick up those one yard gains like I talked about in that video. And then we've got tight end Julius Peppers. Awesome. I love seeing this. Julius Peppers, if you guys don't know, he's one of my absolute favorite players of all time. He might be my favorite defensive player of all time. And uh, one of the reasons that I really like him is because he's so versatile as a player. He can do so many different things. He's great in coverage even. And uh, Peppers is going to be awesome to use that tight end. He's going to be a lot of fun, I think. He's super tall. He's six foot seven, So he is going to be somebody that is very difficult to stop. He's an 87 at tight end, by the way, guys. He's going to have speed. He's going to have uh, some high height and hopefully he has great catching attributes as well. I think he's going to be a lot of fun to use. And then last on this slide, Marshawn Lynch linebacker. What? <laughs> like I did not see this one coming. All these other ones that I've been talking about, I, I can understand why they put them in the game. Marshawn Lynch, I did not see this one coming at all. Linebacker Marshawn Lynch, he's going to be really, really fast. He might be the fastest linebacker in the game, uh, which is going to make him fun to use if you can at uh, you know middle linebacker or wherever he is. I don't know where he's actually going to be on the uh, on the actual full game. It just says linebacker for the Madden Mobile version, like you guys can see there. I don't know if he. I'm, I'm assuming he's probably going to play outside linebacker in the actual uh, ultimate team on console, but we'll have to see what, what ends up happening with that. Either way, I think he's going to be a lot of fun to use. Really unexpected though, and this one is uh, it's quite cool. I'm, I'm excited to see what happens with uh, Marchand Lynch. Then guys, let's move on and let's talk about some of the cards that are pretty interesting here at safety. Julio Jones makes a reappearance here at safety. He is an 85 overall as a base. Now that means that we could potentially see him become a golden ticket at some point and become even better. Uh, then there's also Kobe Fleener, who is actually taller. Fleener actually had an interception, so they decided to make a safety card of him. And Kobe Fleener, I believe, is six foot seven or six foot eight. I'm, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. But either way, he is going to be the tallest safety in the game. So that's going to make him probably one of the players that you're going to want to have on your team to stop some of those deep passes at the end of the games. Um, have him as your deep three-man under safety, and hopefully you can drop back with him and get interceptions or at least swat the ball away on some of those aggressive catches. And then last on the screen, far right side, this is one that people have been asking for for a couple of years now, and this is wide receiver Patrick Peterson. Peterson actually did play some offensive snaps for the Cardinals over the past couple of years, so it's kind of cool to see him get a card on offense. He is obviously one of the more dynamic players in the league as well, and he should have some great attributes for making rat catches and things like that. Up next, we have a couple other cool cards. Halfback Tavon Austin. This is another one that I asked for, guys, because uh, I love seeing the, the speedy halfbacks, and that's what Tavon Austin is going to be. He's going to have great agility. He's going to be really short and probably not very strong, but he's going to be a lot like uh, the uh, Dree Archer cards that are currently in the game, but probably even an upgraded version of Dree Archer. I, I'd be interested to see what his actual attributes are going to be here, uh, but I'm excited to see Tavon Austin in the game as a halfback again. Then on the far right of the screen, guys, Halfback Tim Tebow. Yes. <laughs> yes. Tim Tebow is back in Madden Ultimate Team, and he is going to be playing halfback for the Eagles, apparently. Uh, obviously, he was a quarterback for the Eagles, so it's kind of interesting to see him here at halfback. But um, I know a lot of people love Tim Tebow. I'm not a huge fan of him, but I know he's going to be somebody that some people have on their teams just because they're such a huge fan of Tebow. And it's cool to see him get a little bit of props for everything that he did as far as, you know, being a good guy and that kind of thing on the field. So uh, love Tim Tebow for that that aspect of his career not so much as a player but what are you going to do uh then again in the middle one of the goats in my opinion halfback or quarterback excuse me walter payton this card is one that i used a ton in madden 25 
And I'm really, really hoping that I can use him again here in Madden 16 because he was one of the most fun players to use. I believe that I saw that he is going to have either 95 or 96 speed. I'm trying to remember. But either way, that's going to make him the fastest quarterback currently in the game. And of course, he's going to be kind of not so great throwing the ball, but he's probably going to be every bit as good as a Julian Edelman, I would guess, or maybe not quite as good at throwing, but he's going to be a lot better at running and that's going to make him even more versatile. So uh, it's going to be really cool to see what some of these cards look like. I am super excited to see quarterback Walter Payton again. I wish that there's a quarterback LaDainian Tomlinson. I haven't heard that there is, but um, I, I have heard, uh, of course, that the, the, the Walter Payton's in the game. So it's not quite what I was hoping for. But I, again, I did say in the video that if they didn't make a LaDainian Tomlinson, I was going to be totally happy with having quarterback Walter Payton again. And I absolutely am. And uh, just for, uh, for everybody's notice right now, I'm going to make a video at some point explaining why I think that this should be a golden ticket when golden tickets come out. I hope that somebody turns quarterback Walter Payton into a golden ticket because I just want you guys to think about the attributes that this card would have. It would have amazing running and it would have ridiculous passing. It would be the best quarterback in the game. But with that being said, let's move on. Let's talk about the next slide, guys. And on this one, we've got a couple of different players that are uh, are going to be fun to use, I think. They're probably not going to be real expensive. And that is Ndamukong Su on the left. That's a kicker card. Yes, he actually did kick an extra point. And he might have kicked a couple of extra points. And then we've got punter Tom Brady. So uh, punter Tom Brady is going to be an interesting one because there are some fake punt plays in the game. And obviously, he's going to have good passing attributes. It's Tom freaking Brady, right? So there's going to be uh, some potential trick plays here out of Tom Brady. Um, and Domicong Sue isn't going to really be able to do a whole lot other than uh, pretty much just kick field goals and extra points. And I'm sure his attributes aren't going to be that good. But the one thing that Ndamukong Su does have over a kicker is that when you do kickoffs, he's going to be able to go down there and make tackles on the returner. And uh, that's something that is going to be kind of interesting. We'll have to see if he can force any fumbles from the kicker position. I think that's going to be a cool thing to pay attention to in Madden Ultimate Team. So uh, that's it as far as the, uh, the cards that I have pictures of. A couple other ones that have been confirmed. Taron Armstead, defensive end. That's going to be an interesting card. Should have a lot of strength and acceleration. We'll see what other attributes it has. I'm not sure about the tackling or things like that. Cornerback Devin Hester is also back in the game, so that'll be a good one. He'll probably have some good catching attributes, some good speed, and obviously if he makes interceptions, he's going to have amazing uh, juke ability and things like that. And of course, he'll be a good kick returner as well. And then last but not least, unfortunately, I don't have a, a picture of this one, but my personal favorite card in Madden Free safety Calvin Johnson does make his return this year. I am super excited, guys. I am definitely going to be going out there and getting myself a free safety Calvin at some point. And again, just like Walter Payton, you guys better make this into a golden ticket if you pull it. Seriously, this card is amazing every single year. Golden ticket Calvin is a freaking beast. And uh, even the regular Calvin Johnson free safety is always freaking amazing. So I'm super pumped, guys. Hopefully you guys are excited for this promo as well. Uh, one last thing that I wanted to show you guys here is that there are gifts back in the game as well. At least on mobile, I'm going to say it's about a 99% confirm uh, that there are also going to be gifts uh, that open up on various different days, just like last year uh, for the uh, the holiday promo here. So this is an example of one from Madden Mobile. But I hope you guys are going to be enjoying this promo. I, I am absolutely excited. This is legitimate excitement, guys. I am not making this for video, uh, just to fake excitement. I am really, really excited about this promo. I think it's going to be the funnest promo that they do or that they have done so far this year. It might be the best one that they do all year. So this is the time, guys, to open up packs today. There's going to be some great stuff in packs, and I am super excited about it. Thanks, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor. Click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.